I'm going to make a video that's very different and I probably shouldn't even make because I am incredibly frustrated tonight because I've been another stab at this thing. If you know what this is, you may have seen it in a previous video or seen it on my Kev Reviews channel. This is a headset press, a budget one. And what I'm trying to do is press a lower headset cup into this Schwinn Axum DP's headset so I can convert it to the tapered fork that I have because I really want to get this thing out on the trail in project, well, I don't know that I'll call it project Axum, but modified Axum form, but this. This thing, I tried a couple of new techniques that were recommended to make it work and I just can't do it. They say it takes time and patience. Well, if there's one thing about me that people that know me will tell you, it is that patience is not one of my virtues. I'm a very impatient person. I like to get things done and I like them to be done properly. So this isn't gonna get in, it's my fault. Cause I tried to cheap out rather than spending 200, to 250, 279 bucks. I tried to spend, I think 20. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna look at these, but I don't recommend them. Though I want to make lemons out of lemonade, so that's going to segue to here. Because along with this tool, I have quite a few bike-specific tools that I use here at Kev Central, and I keep them in my Craftsman Toolbox here. Covered this on my Kev Reviews channel, but today I want to talk about some extra tools that I've added to it. So I'm not going to go over the base tools. What's in here, the things that have been in here, you can go watch the Kev Reviews video, which I'll link down in the description to check out those tools. But they're the usual things. Again, I'm not gonna go over everything. A free will removal tool, normally a cassette removal tool in here, but I broke my cassette removal tool. The pen came out of it, so I have to get a new one. It's like 50 uses out of a $10 tool. So that was worth its money, but you know, things like a chain breaker, stuff like that. And then get inside and pedal wrenches and some other things. So let me go, but not this anymore. I'm going to toss this. So let's discuss what's different, what I've added to this. Again, you might want to watch that Kev Reviews video so you can keep up. And by the way, they're finally done. Cutting the trees in my area, they finished up Friday. That means I can start doing voiceover, so expect a lot of videos to start dropping. Okay, so I'm going to assume at this point that you've watched the other video so you know what I had in here. Well, what has been an addition? Well, this is something I had already, but I don't believe I covered in the previous video. This is something specific to my priority bikes. This is a tool where I can... leaf on it there. This is a tool where I can measure the belt tension on a Gates belt drive. I bought this. I think I paid a hundred and something dollars for this maybe even more than that didn't even need it because gates has an app that you can use on your iphone or your android phone lets you do the same thing listens for tension i added this this is a crank pedal extractor or crank arm extractor from park tool model ccp 22 this was actually a birthday gift that i got from i believe my father got me this so that will mean I don't have to use wherever my other tool is. I know that it's in here, but this means I can use this rather than having to use my previous tool and a wrench with it. It's all in one here. So that's nice. Let's see, I've added this. A new digital caliper. That way I can measure bottom brackets. Tell the width of those. So that's handy. I don't think this was in here last time. I got tired of dropping things, and this is how lazy I've gotten. Tired of dropping things and having to bend over to get them. So got me a magnet on a stick, also a craftsman, because, you know, kind of like craftsman tools. Get to the bottom here and see if there's anything in there that I've added. Oh, wait. Well, this kind of translates to the bottom, because previously... I think I beat this down in here where it won't come out. This was this is my uh, lower headset cup, or well, upper and lower. This is my headset cup remover, and it comes with a star nut setter that was actually always falling out. So I beat it down in here with a hammer. Now I can't get it out, but it was not a very good one. I don't think, well, we're not going to be able to see it. It wasn't a very good one because I had to kind of line it up myself. Again, one of those things where it takes patience. Not one of my virtues. 
So I picked this up. So let me get this back out. I don't know what brand this is. I'll look up. I bought it on Amazon. It's a bike hand. You can see the model there, but it's a bike hand. But this is a star nut setter tool. Always keep a star nut handy, a spare, multiple places throughout the bike barn here. I have star nuts, but this allows me to set star nuts pro at the proper depth in a fork tube with just a couple of whacks of a mallet. Really handy tool. Should have gotten one of these long ago. Again, I tried to use the one in that lower headset cup removal tool, but not very effective. Or at least not as effective as I would like. That's where this comes in. Makes it a lot easier. And I'm pretty sure this was an ad since that last video. This is also bike hand branded. This is a fork cut down tool. Put this down in a vise, clamp, a, clamp it down on a fork steerer tube, and I can cut that steerer tube with the saw perfectly and straightly. This works straightly. Uh, perfect and straight. This works really well. I've had good success with this. I've probably trimmed down already five or six forks with it, and it's still working just fine. And in my previous toolbox video, again, from Kev Review, someone asked, why well, didn't have cable cutters? Well, I don't usually use cable cutters. I just use these wire cutters and a lot of strength, though I, that's on my list, cable cutters. So I've added those. I've also added these wire strippers and you may ask why do you need wire strippers for a bike related channel e-bikes do work on e-bikes or well sometimes i do works like replacing speed works <laughs> sometimes i do work like replacing speed controllers and that's where that comes in handy and here's that crank arm extractor i was talking about this omers i've used this thing dozens of times it's worked perfectly and cheap but it's a multi-step process because I have to get this all on and I have to use this. So a lot of moving stuff there. Again, going back to this, all in one. So I'm happy to have that. And these next additions to my bike-specific tools toolbox are all gifts. All Christmas gifts like this. BBT69.2. This is from Park Tool. This is for installing the external bearing bottom brackets with the external bearing cups. That will make that easier instead of having to use where they, there it is. Instead of having to use this, I can use this and a socket wrench and torque it down properly. Make it a lot easier. And you know, I always appreciate getting tools for Christmas, no matter how big or small they are, because I can always think about the person that got it for me. In this case, again, Dad, as I'm using it. So kind of a little family history and appreciation there. This, another Christmas gift from my sister. This is a Park Tool Dummy Hub. Model DH, I guess, I. I don't know if that's supposed to be a 1 or an I. If you don't know what a dummy hub is, look it up. It's pretty interesting. And again, links to all this stuff down in the description so you can look at it to get more of an idea. Another gift from my sister, another Park Tool product. This is a Park Tool HMR-8. It's a Park Tool kind of hammer mallet combo. And this is something that I got on my birthday, so I've used it for a few months here came in handy in the bike barn especially since i accidentally destroyed my rubber mallet another tool that dad purchased for me this was actually something that on black friday on amazon's black friday sells the lightning deals they had this for i think it was nine or ten dollars said hey you should get on and buy that for me so i knew i was getting it because he bought it right in front of me but it's a little battery powered rotary tool i can always use a rotary tool out in the bike barn and next a double gift and well, fine with this because i use these like crazy should know what these are colored cable ends i got these i mentioned to one person and then i had some on my wish list so they both purchased but that's fine not only can i use them but this one came with some rubber spacers in there or sound i don't know what you call those sound deadeners they're these things they're these things always between the frame and a cable or at least should be but happy to have both of those 
And the final addition to my toolbox here is these. And these are straps, not necessarily a tool, but I'll keep these in my toolbox. These strap to the down tube and to the tire. So keep the tire straight when a bike's up on the bike rack. Let me get up here, give you an idea. It'll strap on about here and then down to the tire. And that way that front wheel doesn't move around on me while I'm working on a bike. So there we go, my newly updated Bike Barn Bike Specific Tool Toolbox. I really have to get a better name for all this, but I do need a bigger toolbox. Now that I'm getting more tools, so making some lemonades out of some lemons, because I guess I'm going to have to take that down to the bike shop in the morning, pay an extra 15 to 20 bucks, because I just can't do it. And again, I can't justify 200 bucks plus for a tool to do something that I think this is my third or fourth one that I've done, so... I don't know, maybe I should. Comment below if you think I should maybe buy that tool. But either way, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you have that notification bell active. And if you think there's some extra tools I need to put in here or in a bigger box, comment below with those. And if you found this video helpful or informative, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching Kev Central and have a great day. Or well, evening, because this is late.